I really, really miss my MPC. Um, I cannot stress that enough. But in the meantime, I've just been, you know, again, you guys know I've been using the Kai 3000 XL back here, my little living room rack, um, and the MPC 2000, you know, controlling that via MIDI. Another setup I've been using is using two KOs and the Tascam Porta Studio. You can sync the two of these and they sync pretty seamlessly. So I just want to explain the setup um, and just give a quick breakdown of what I've been doing, um, you know, to make, you know, kind of like living room beats while I'm waiting for this <laughs> 3000 to finally arrive. So essentially you plug the sync out of the first KO into the sync in of the second one. Um, I mean, it's that simple. And now this one is a slave to this one. It will do whatever it'll, you know, this one, number one, sets the tempo. Um, even the sequences, no matter what, they will just sync to each other. So it's pretty flawless. Um, in terms of how I set it up here, when you sync, and I'll walk through all this in a second, what this allows is instead of four banks, you now have eight banks. And instead of you know, if you, if you do the output the way I'm doing it now, um, I actually output into inputs one and two for the first one and three and four for the second. I go into each of these banks and I pan them hard left and right so that I get single channels. And then I can basically mix down on tape and I've made three beat tapes all using the KO. The KO is real fun. It's just fun to make beats. Everyone who has one of these will tell you this thing is extremely fun and immediate and intuitive. that I mean that's that's what the KO does like that kind of live effects like that's insane when you can apply it to just one group and that's what a, a syncing two of these allows you to do um, like I'm getting goosebumps just hearing some of that because it's like I can't do that on the MP um, especially these older NPCs so it's just kind of wild and you know I just recorded that so you know I don't know let's just see how that came across um, so rewind, just play a little bit. Right. I mean, I don't know, 
that's cool to me. Um, and so, yeah, let's do something different with it. Because, again, this is where I'm, you know, I'm not making beats so much on this as sound designing and just mangling samples. And, again, I use these as sample tapes. So I might very well go in there and just sample those those keys, put it in the MP and work, make beats in my normal way. Um, but I did want to show some of the possibilities that you have with the KO. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Um, quick video, quick breakdown. I just wanted to try this out and show uh, one of the ways that I've been keeping busy while waiting for my MPC. And um, yeah, it's fun. So if you have two KOs, you have a friend, invite that friend over, um, have them sync up. All you need is a little 3.55, you know, 3.5, just small little cable out to in, and they just work perfectly. They know how to talk to each other. Um, pan hard left, pan hard right, and you have double the amount of banks, double the amount of effects, and you can add effects to groups. You can essentially group one KO. I mean, you could make six of these. You can have an entire band. I mean, it's a really interesting modular setup that I think could work for anybody. Um, and can make music way beyond what I did in this, you know, very basic um, demonstration. But it's a really, really interesting idea for a setup. Um, and then, of course, you know, putting something like that on the task cam, I mean, again, if I just switch to tape and just rewind what we just did, I could speed that up, I can EQ the drums, it's actually kind of, it's kind of nice, fast, let me rewind that again. But yeah, this is how I make my little demos. I might I might just sample those drums, honestly. All right. Thanks for rocking with me. Peace.